with you ask me how I feel I'm gonna just tell you what's everything that I expected what's up team energizers it is 10 days into 2024 and we are not playing with 2024 period I hope you're not either I wanted to talk about five things that I feel helped me to change my life and if you're watching me then you definitely want to change your life too you're tired of the same old finances you're tired of the same old body you're tired of the same old excuses you're tired of getting up every day going to that lame job dealing with them dealing with whatever you're dealing with i recently lost over 100 pounds and i've kept it off going on three years i just had loose skin removal surgery to remove remove over remove remove over 16 pounds let me turn my phone off to remove over 16 pounds from my stomach and I am living the life I have always dreamed of. We are 10 days into 2024 and I hope you're not playing with 2024 because I'm not playing with 2024. I got tired of having excuses every day and I got up every day. The same every day of excuses I had, I chose one of those days to get up and do some about it. And I got up every day and I started walking. I got up every day and I started praying. I got up every day and I started doing the work. Okay, I, I'm not one to talk about the manifest and all that. It's, it's real, it's true, but I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta get up every day and set up a system to get to where you wanna get to in, in this life. So five things that help me. Number one, something that a lot of people don't approve of, but it helps. It helps to get you motivated. It helps to keep you motivated. It, it helps to give you energy. It helps to, if you just can't seem to mentally or physically get out of that slump you're in, get you some coffee. Coffee helped me in so many ways. And at one point I didn't like the Starbucks Pikes place because I felt like it just made me angry. But I found out that it's not that it made me angry, it made me motivated, it made me inspired. It made me think about those things that I would do and those excuses I would have. And that coffee just did something to me and it just made me go hard. It made me go hard. Like, I had never been a big fan of coffee, but when I tried Starbucks Park's place, Pike's Place, I'm telling you, when I get that in my system, I go hard. What I gotta do today? I gotta make a video today. I gotta create content today. I gotta go work today. I gotta go walk today. I be, it just, I be so inspired and so motivated and so fired up. And I used to think like, why am I so angry? No, sis, you need to channel that anger into some motivation. So coffee, coffee, coffee. If you don't like coffee, that's understandable, but I use, they say coffee is a drug. Well, I use that drug to get my sh together. And that is why I love uh, coffee now. Number two, don't be down on yourself. If you ate something you weren't supposed to eat, if you went out and you, you, did, you ate a little bit too much, that's what it, that food is energy. What do you do with energy? You burn it. So go out there and burn it. Don't be down on yourself because, oh, I ate a donut for breakfast. Go burn those same calories. Go walk, go to the gym, go running. Burn that energy and don't be down on yourself. Every, every problem has a solution. If you, can, if you just sit there and focus on the problem and not the solution, then of course you're gonna be down on yourself. Now, I don't, I, I'm not a, People say you can't work off a bad diet, but you can definitely work it off and maybe lessen the blow. You can lessen the blow of eating whatever it was that was bad if you go burn that energy. You may not reach your goals of losing weight if you keep eating bad, but at least you won't keep going up and up and up on the scale. Go burn the energy. Don't just sit there and mope about the fact that you ate bad. Go burn it. Go walk. Go, go do something. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, now think of, those, think of those people who you see all the time and they're always the same size, the same weight. They, 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 for years, they look the same. They never gain or lose, they stay the same. That's because they have a system set up of how they get up in the morning, they go to work, they come home, they eat, they get up, they go to work, come home. They, they have the same system. The way you change that system up so that you can see results is you go work for an hour. Do something outside of your system. Go work out for an hour. Go walk for an hour. Go to the gym for an hour. Go to the park for an hour. Just change up your system and then you change up your life. 
Number three, water. Water is very important. Alkaline water is very important. If you eat something too salty or too sweet, down it with uh, about 33 ounces of water. Every hour you should be drinking at least a, a 33 ounces of water or a gallon a day. Water is amazing. It will help you feel better. It will help you to get that salt and that sugar out of your body. I hear a lot of people say, oh, you can't eat too much salt, you can't eat too much sugar. But if you down, if you drink in a gallon of water a day, you can be one of those people who get away with maybe you can eat sugar and salt. But I don't recommend that you just eat it because you can and now you can drink water. But just in case you have a headache or you have high blood pressure, get some water in your system so that you can flush it out. Number four, write down your bills. If your bills are just making you frustrated and you're tired of seeing them, write them down and then put a line next to the bill amount and whatever you paid off, put paid. Write down your bills so you can see what it is that you're spending, what you need to purchase, what you need to buy, what you need to do. Write everything down and whenever you accomplish it, write paid next to it and scratch it off. Stuff. What I did, I was able to raise my credit up 88 points in just eight months because I, I took a simple sheet of paper and I wrote down my water bill, my light bill, my rent, my credit card, all of that and I put the amount next to it and then I wrote a line and whenever I paid it, I wrote paid on that line next to that bill. And whatever was paid, I scratched it out. To be able to see it and actually know I paid it, it just gave me a sense of satisfaction. There's something powerful of seeing everything on paper and being able to view that you have paid it off and taken care of it and now you can scratch it off. Don't just keep a lot of things in your head, put it on paper. Get that out of your system, whatever your thoughts are, whatever you're going through, get it out and put it on paper. Whatever it is, your bills, your frustrations, your thoughts, put it on paper. Take time to journal. Number five, download a steps app. A steps app, any kind of, uh, the pedometer app, whatever app, it don't matter. There's a lot of them out there. Download an app where you can track your steps because being able to see that you got in 5,000 steps or 10,000 steps motivates you to want to do it tomorrow. To see that you did two miles today or one mile today motivates you to want to do it tomorrow. It's nice, it's, it's, not also, it's not a bad thing to keep things in your head, but you also want to be able to see it, to see your, 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 what you've done on the pedometer because it just motivates you to want to do it tomorrow or get you a watch get you one of those uh, watches that you can track your miles and your steps on see simple and watch how your life is just like wow those simple five things literally helped me yes they will help you and i'll come back with some more things but i will see y'all in another video i'm so happy you came today i love you and I hope that your 2024 is just as amazing, as amazing as you are. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Team Energizers.